Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your two, 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 two portal reading. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to your true Lionsgate portal reading. It's funny, um, not funny. The coincidence here is that the true Lionsgate portal actually occurs right now at this time during the 22222 portal. And we had the Leo full moon this month, Scorpio. I myself personally have been feeling that energy of Sekhmet and, and working with the energy of Sekhmet and Sekhmet forces us to have to, not forces us, I should say, it's encourages, I should say, us to look at aspects of ourselves that are carnal in nature, how we handle aspects of ourselves that are carnal in nature, how we control our urges and our desires, our cravings, things like that. So if you could be very focused on health right now, um, but what I'm really getting for you, Scorpio, is is identity. Identity. Who are you? Who are you, Scorpio? Who are you? Who are you? Your archetypes that you pulled today, Scorpio, we have the... Ooh, okay. Uh, wow. You have the animal the animal. You have the self. And you have the one. The animal is really talking about um, stepping into uh, a personality that is different from you. It's um, maybe some of you actually even work with like animal totems and things like that, but it's about shape-shifting. Revealing aspects of ourselves that are our animalistic side. Are you comfortable with your animalistic side? Have you gotten in touch with your animalistic side in a while? Or does the thought of that who are you? Does the thought of that turn you away from yourself? Because I see also with the self, it's a question of, of identity, how you identify with yourself, what you are comfortable with. Sorry if you can hear that clicking. The self has to explore aspects, okay? All of this to say with the one is that every identity that we hold inside of us that, that we came to is all one thing. And it's also a universal consciousness that is all molding and expressing itself in many forms through each and every one of us and through through mirroring, through the animals, the animal lens, the animal eye. And it's a, definitely about identity here. This is asking you also to take a step back to um, figure out exactly who you are. What, who are you? I keep feeling the need to ask you that. Who are you, Scorpio? I am, I am what I am, I am that I am, I am, wow, understanding that that universal God power speaks through you, it is you, it is all you, it is consciousness, it is cosmos speaking through you, Scorpio, it's not outside of you, 
every single one of us possess this this God code and this God consciousness that wants to be expressed in every way possible, by the way, in every form you could think of, even the forms we may not like so much with the animal. It's all consciousness. It's all awareness. Awareness aware. Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords. We are focused on our work. We keep our head down at work. Maybe some of you are... You put on a face at work. Mm -hmm. You are all business at work. So you don't let people see the animalistic side of you. You don't want to let also let people see when you're angry. Angry because like Sekhmet, when she gets angry, she can't control herself. She goes on a on a blood spree, basically. And so Ra, the sun god, right? Ra would have to trick her into calming her own urges because once she got angry, once she got upset, she couldn't control herself. So he would trick her by feeding her basically pomegranate juice. <laughs> The juice of the pomegranate and or wine, right? Pomegranate wine would satiate her. It would quench her thirst so that she would stop attacking, basically. Some of you feel that way. You have um, thirst, quenches, things like that. Some of you, some of you nurture that with... Um, well, that's coming to my mind, so I have to say it. It's, we have habits that we have built up to calm our minds. Some of that we may use in the form of addiction. We get, because we're coddling ourselves, we are coddling ourselves into quenching the anxiety that we feel in our own self-expression. This 222 portal, I feel like Scorpio, wants you to ask yourself who in you, who in you, or what in you needs to feel freedom? Who in you needs to be free? Let me know if you're dealing with a Pisces. Being that she's come out twice, I want to say that the Empress, in this literal sense, is the Divine Feminine. And that's perfect, again, in relation to Sekhmet, because the Divine Feminine is what has been stifled. This inability to express and be who we are or to feel like we can in a masculine dominant society. Nothing against the divine masculine at all. We need the energy. That's not what I'm saying. I think any of you who have been around my channel long enough know that. It's not about that. It's about the equality of the divine feminine and the masculine. The equality equality not higher than not lower than not beneath equal equal as it should have been what we have been fighting for the empress also how we show love and how we nurture ourselves where should we where should, fo bleh, where should Scorpio focus please Number three could be significant to you. Three seems to be significant for everyone, actually. Not just you. Nine of Pentacles. 
where you should focus on yourself. And also know that the Nine of Pentacles is protected. These are all of your ancestors behind her. It's a spiritual legacy that she's that she is nurturing right now. It's all of those who have come before you, the legacy that you are carrying on, but it's personal. It's about you, Scorpio. Not your physical family in the physical, but your spiritual family in the non-physical. The gifts that were bestowed on you. Oh yeah. Some of you don't even know that. You have no idea how powerful you are, but you're going to learn. You're going to understand when you know, and that's the thing, it's, it's who are you, Scorpio? Because when you know who you are, Nothing can stop you. There is no power in this world greater than knowing who you are and where you come from. Who are you? This divine feminine, man or woman here, I don't care. This divine feminine energy that is your identity with the Nine of Pentacles and some turn of events, some change, a change occurring in you. Three, the fates. The fates, because your life is fated. You were meant to come into this knowledge and understanding in your own time and in your own way, of course, but you were meant to be awoken. To the, to the knowledge of who you are. This is not outside of you. It is not a figurehead in the sky casting down, looking down upon you. It is you. It is you. It is you sun. Also, where you should not focus, the sun is Leo. Leo energy. Hmm. Yeah, you can't focus on the sun in Leo because you have to focus on the moon in Leo. That's where Leo is. That's where the Leo is. That's where the lion is. The lion is in the moon, and the moon is feminine. The moon is feminine energy. Sekhmet, the lion goddess. Ra, her father. The sun god, right? Someone has been um, <laughs> making you question your identity, Scorpio. Making you question the anger you feel, the rage you feel. Not saying you should fly off the handle and go destroying everything in your path. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you have a fundamental birthright to feel angry at the treatment of your feminine self. Of your sex, of being told to be less than, being told to be subservient. That maybe being a mother was all you were supposed to do, or how dare you want to do something for yourself to establish your own independence and identity. And the sun is illuminating this. Don't be enlightened, Scorpio. Don't be enlightened to who you really are with the sun here. The sun. Don't look here, Scorpio. Don't look into the sun. Don't be enlightened about who you are. No, Scorpio. This 222 two, two is about expansion, and you're going to feel it. You're going to feel yourself expanding in many ways. And it may even be to the point that it's overwhelming. That's okay, 
It's okay, by the way. Advice. Someone's trying to block me from seeing because every time I, and I've noticed this, I get a trigger in my left eye when I'm speaking something that's very true and someone is projecting on the V. My left eye. Twitch. So you're watching and you're being mirrored because I'm mirroring something to you that you needed to hear. There's nothing but love here for you. Okay. Whether you want to see that or not. And if it's not your message, then leave it for those who need to hear it. There's no point in being triggered, though many of you will be, and that's also the point. You will be triggered. You will not like half of what I'm saying to you, or anything that I'm saying to you, frankly, because it's meant to trigger you. It's meant to help you and to awaken you. And for many of us, that's hard. Pisces also got the healer, and the healer <laughs> the healer is not so much about healing others, it's about healing ourselves. And the healing doesn't stop. We're always healing ourselves. We're always, because we're always learning new things. You have the Page of Swords in reverse as your advice. You're being asked not to dismiss, not to dismiss yourself, even your anger. I'm not going to dismiss it even now. If you're angry, Scorpio, you're angry. Be angry. <sighs> Channel it. Use it. Give it to whoever you need to give it to. Maybe you need to dance. Maybe you need to work out that energy. Maybe you need to just have the freedom to fucking express yourself. That's really what you're saying. And if I'm triggering that in you, then that's really what is happening here. You feel it. You feel where you have been suppressed. Okay? The need to establish who you are. Why haven't I done that yet? Why won't I do that? Well, because so-and-so said this, or I will be viewed this way by my family, or this way by society. I'm afraid to express the truth of who I am for fear of how I will be judged by others. Fuck them. Scorpio, when are you going to get it, honey? Fuck them. Whose opinion matters here? You stepping into your authentic truth? Or going your whole life? Pleasing others who don't know how to begin to please themselves. To satisfy themselves. And it's one perpetual loop of... Of what? Go after your wish fulfillment, Scorpio. Nine of Cups. And for some of you, yeah, that will require you being selfish. You know, I actually love that word, and I hate that it's been misconstrued practically since its existence. Selfish. The word selfish. It's actually a beautiful word. It means the preservation of self. When I am selfish, it means I am preserving my sense of self. Okay? I would much rather be selfish than selfless. I would rather be selfish than selfless. I would rather know who I am than not at all.
Scorpio, this is your light code energy. You received number 44, the universal love. You can take a picture of this, screenshot this if you like, and meditate on the energy. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, to the whole of existence itself. And I'm really being drawn to the flower of life here as the lotus flower. So you're, again, and the red here, like the red of her dress is about he the healing of the root chakra healing our identity and this is about security red is about and again it's beautiful how you have all this archetype to really back up what i'm saying here the animal the animal's about our base instinct our base human nature that survival instinct right the animal inside of us the animal that we have to use to survive in order to thrive. This is about moving out of, out of survival mode into create creative mode, creativity. That is what we are doing as a species right now on this planet. That is what the earth is doing. Universal love is ascending is the using this ascension to elevate out of this mundane, basic existence of survival. I have to survive into creativity, into creation. I want to create the empress, right? This is some beautiful shit. I'm not gonna lie to you that I'm being channeled for you and I love it. I'm just so grateful to be able to give you this message and I hope, I hope it's resonating with you, Scorpio. We are all connected. It's really beautiful. I feel, I feel so many of you. Who haven't known how to express yourselves because you don't know. You don't know who you are. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't see you and then be, being like trying not to see you triggering me, right? You don't see until you need to see. You don't see until you see. And when you see, you can't unsee what you've seen. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Come on. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to pause to wipe my eyes. I'm back. Huh. Scorpio, this is an important reading for someone out there. I don't know who. So when whoever you are, first for you, you know, if this is resonating with you, I do hope you please leave your good loving energy on the channel. Alright, do remember to leave a like on the video. Even if it's not your story, you don't feel like this is your energy at all, then help to spread it to those who need to hear it at this time. Um, that's it. That's all. Yeah, it's doing your part, too, because right now, Scorpio, you have abundance, and you also have illumination, and this is all your sacred, your sacred journey. This is your sacred destiny. Abundance and illumination. And this is talking about 
the achievement of success through internal discovery. Illumination, being exposed to who you really are in abundance. The stream of ever flowing material success as well as spiritual success, that is yours. It's yours for the taking, Scorpio. It always was, and it always will be. It can't be taken from you because once you know, you know. Once you have that knowledge, knowledge is the greatest power of all. That knowing within is the greatest power of all, Scorpio. It cannot be taken from you, ever. That's why it's number one. Wildflowers are not intentionally planted. They are untamed, natural, and free. Their fragrance calls bees to pollinate them so that seeds are created to continue the cycle of life. These kinds of natural flowers don't try to be per don't try to be profuse and beautiful. They just are, without struggle or worry. They are abundant without effort. Prosperity is your birthright. And the grand profusion of a field of untamed flowers reminds you that a windfall is coming. It's simply a matter of aligning your vibration and frequency with that which you desire to manifest. Everything is, blossom is blossoming in life. Open yourself to receive. Abundance, fulfillment, and prosperity are ready to be activated in your life. Life desires you to prosper. You are moving toward an outpouring of money, energy, time, or love. Opportunities are limitless. However, you must take action in the direction of your dreams. Don't wait for abundance to fall into your lap. Take steps. Give deeply and fully. Don't hold back. This card reveals that this is a great time to make investments. The more you give with a free and open heart, the more you will receive. Be grateful for what you already have, and even more will flow to you. Showing gratitude for that which you already have, Scorpio, just helps you to activate the feeling of abundance that is already yours, and seeing it done, seeing it real in your mind's eye, and playing out scenarios in your head, and seeing yourself in the in the futures that you w want for yourselves, and playing in that energy keeps it active in your vibration and just tells the universe that you already have it. And when the universe thinks you already have it, it knows no different. So it brings it to you. The universe only responds to one thing and that is vibration. So if you're vibrating down here, the universe will match you with the down here frequency. If you're vibrating up here, the universe will match you with the up here frequency. There is no bias, there is no prejudice, there is no, there is no, really, divine feminine or masculine. It's just, are you in a state of allowing or not? As the sun rises over the far mountains, mist begins to swirl upward, illuminated by the golden, radiant rays of morning light. In many traditions, mist symbolizes what is called the mystic veil, which represents an entrance point into unseen realms. In ancient and native cultures, mists are associated with mystical and magical inner dimensions. Mist in the mountains represents higher states of consciousness. The upward spiraling mists rising in the mountains suggest that those in the realm of spirit, your spirit protectors, ancestors, and guardians are close at hand, assisting you on your upward journey of illumination. 
They are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds. Even if you can't see what's ahead, spirit is close at hand. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you see and what you think, and you will be guided in a wondrous direction. Trust yourself and trust your guides. Scorpio, I'm leaving your reading right there. I hope this reading does serve you. If so, leave your good loving energy on the channel, drop me a comment, and I cannot wait to hear from you. Take care, Scorpio. Be well.